hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel i hope that everyone is well and that you're settling into the new year you know um each year we all set these goals and these plans that we want to achieve but sometimes it gets so overwhelming as soon as you want to start executing everything but i hope that all of you um, have started to at least work towards achieving some of these goals that you've created and if you haven't this is the sign you need to start um, but yeah anyways this week's video is basically um, divided into three parts the first part I'm just going to show you a little snippet of some of the things I got up to last week um, I was invited to a uh, spa for a massage and then i also got to celebrate a friend's birthday with a few other friends so i just want to show you guys some of that um and then i will be showing you aj's room so if you follow me on instagram you will know that aj used to have a different room in the house when he was much younger and he recently actually at the end of last year we moved him to a bigger room initially the reason why he was in the smallest room in the house is because i felt you know back then i felt like no i don't want to waste um space and room on aj he's still so small let's rather keep the space for guests and then um as time went i realized he started getting because we, we started buying him quite like a lot of things and he was getting gifted like stuff and the space that he was in became way too cramped so i just felt you know what let's he's much older now let's move him to a new room and redecorate the old room looked quite nice so it was tough trying to you know match that vibe but i think i did a pretty decent job um the room is not looking too bad it's actually very practical and simple so i'm going to show you the room and tell you where i got everything and then lastly some people asked me a few questions on instagram regarding aj's um first time at school and how he is settling in and just some of the you know concerns that i might have had taking him into school and how i am managing so yeah that last part i'll answer those questions and we'll wrap up the video but anyways i hope you guys enjoy and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'm on my way to amelio aesthetics to get my massage done i'm doing a cbd massage i've never tried it before so i'm very keen i'm just keen for the massage actually i love being held massaged um it's a cbd massage i think it's those massages where they use cannabis um so yeah i'm interested to find out how it works and what it actually does for my body check you guys That was so good that was so so good yeah i'm feeling relaxed now i'm feeling really good and right now i'm gonna head to mall of africa it's mpumi's birthday this weekend um but we have decided we are going to surprise her tomorrow um we've planned a whole dinner and we've gotten her like a few um gifts so one of the things we decided to get her is an exclusive book voucher because we all know she loves to read um so the girls asked me to um get the voucher so i'm gonna head to the mall get the voucher and then i'm gonna head back home to work well probably before i go home i need to go pick up aj because um if i check the time it's already um 12 30 so i've had a very chilled morning but now i need to pick up aj and then head back home to catch up on some work um for the rest of the afternoon
I got the gift card for Bumi and I also got a gift for Rui which I'll probably go drop off um, later this afternoon yeah now I'm waiting I'm at AJ school and I'm waiting for him to come out of class hello how are you how was school hey why are you so serious why are you so serious Drive. Look how happy he is. AJ, where are we going? Where are we going? Viola, Pam, Val, Viola. Close the door. Close the door, AJ. Are we going to Ruby's house? Are we going to Ruby's house to give her birthday gift? Yeah, are we going to Ruby to give her birthday gift? <laughs> give Ruby a high five. <laughs> you guys are so cute. Happy birthday, my angel. Happy birthday, Rui! High five! <laughs> You're welcome, my angel. <laughs> like it? <laughs> Do you like your gift? <laughs> she doesn't care for me. <laughs> Rui, you really love my son, hey? So, I just came back from Tap Singh's house and because I've got two babies, AJ and Zam, I came home to a hungry husband and so I whipped up something quick but really good as I'm gonna go up now to give this to them to try he usually likes eating downstairs but he's upstairs because he was bathing AJ and then he's I think putting him to bed so I'm gonna get him to try this yeah. you're still hey, not hey, sleeping hey, we <laughs> 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 you know what he's slapping for this oh <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. Say thank you. Yeah, okay, my boy. Yeah, yeah. I hope it's not too hot. You're messing on our bed. Is that me killing? <laughs> You're literally killing AJ's vibe. Min. Min. Moment of truth. Mm, mm, mm. Babe, I want an honest opinion because you men like lying. How is it? Honestly. So good, babe. Mm. <laughs> 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 hey, but, um, Shame, me, babe. Me, me. Mm. <laughs> Yummy. Mm -hmm. Man. <sighs> See you tomorrow. Can I have a kiss? Mm -hmm. God bless you and keep you. Make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. God turn his face towards you and give you peace. Thank you, Lord, that you cover his room, Father, with the blood of Jesus and that he's protected, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. So I am getting ready to go to Bumi's surprise dinner. I don't know what, I, well, I had no idea what I was going to do with my hair. And then I thought I'm going to use my wig to do a pony. I don't know if it's going to work, but let's see how it's going to turn out. So this is how I look. 
the wig actually worked out i am pleasantly surprised i am even here she thought i went to the salon um so yeah i did a decent job with it and my face doesn't look too bad i want to show you guys my dress so guys this is my look um for tonight um this dress is from sheen I think it's so cute it's body hugging and then as for shoes these are from cotton on I got them sometime last year but they should still have them guys I am just calling me let's go yeah. to Ayanda. And she's she's complaining that it's too short. It's too short. Um, that I am fundy, see. But we bring it home for me. We bring it Oh. Hi. Hi. <laughs> the wind is insane. How gorgeous do my friends look? <laughs> AJ's cot, which I received as a gift from my bridesmaid. Fun fact, Zam and I were meant to have our white wedding celebration, but we ended up having to cancel it due to COVID. My bridesmaids then came together and gifted us this cot for AJ. I love that it's a three in one, so you can basically um, put it apart and turn it into a single bed, which has side pedestals as you can see the side pedestals are now part of the cart and are used as a changing station AJ was gifted this luxury linen by babes and kids he actually received it last year but I had told myself that he would only use it once this room was completed and wow the material is honestly everything they also sent me a cot bumper. We've got this couch which I got custom made. The toy storage frame and boxes are from Home Sweet Home and they are importers of IKEA furniture products. The storage boxes are easily removable so whenever it comes to play you can just pull them out and pick out whichever toys he wishes to play with. So these picture frames were custom made for this room. I don't think the video does justice to how massive they actually are, but I love how the pictures that I chose actually complement the color of the feature wall. The curtains are from the curtain cabin. I think 
they make absolutely gorgeous curtains and the nice thing about these curtains is that they are block out curtains as you can see when i close them there is barely any sunlight entering the room these are perfect if you or your little one is sensitive to light and if you're a light sleeper as you saw the previous room had wallpaper but this time around i decided to switch it up and go with wall paneling by musa design company and i absolutely love how it turned out i think it looks very beautiful and stunning hope you guys enjoyed the bedroom reveal um let me know in the comment section if you think there's anything i can do to accentuate the room and yeah just let me know what your general take is on how the room looks first question is how was AJ's first day of school? He actually took first day of school really well. AJ is generally a very social baby. He's not scared of strangers. So we woke up in the morning, got him ready. As soon as we got into the car, he was super excited because he loves being in the car. And then we got to the school. He was a bit confused because obviously all the teachers were like waiting in front and all excited to see him so because it was like an unfamiliar place and with unfamiliar people he was a bit confused but as soon as his teacher took him out of the car and started walking to class he started to loosen up a bit and when I came back to pick him up after school his teacher said that he actually had a good day and was able to play along with the other kids um, really well what do the fees look like there's obviously um, different fees you pay a different amount um, depending on how many days of the week you bring your child and on how soon you can pay the fees so the general um, monthly fees are 4,000 Rand or 4,050 for a month if your child is doing half day and then 4,500 if your child is doing full day the half day is from 7 to 2 and the full day is from 7 to 5 or 5.30. AJ is currently doing um, half day which is from 7 to 2. This is mainly because he's still a bit young so we wanted to um, transition him a bit slower and also we wanted to him to get to spend time at home um, in the afternoon. Next question is... Why did you start him so young? So I noticed around June last year that he was starting to get bored and he was losing interest in some of the activities that he would do indoors. And that's when I felt that it was actually time for him to go to school and also to build his social skills. We also noticed that whenever he played with other kids, let's say we had like um, visitors who had kids or we went to a friend's home who also had kids we noticed that AJ would um, get excited to see the other kids like for the first five minutes and then shortly after that he would retreat into his own corner and do his own thing so we realized that his social skills were not the best and that in order for him to develop those he needed to spend more time with other kids and hence why he started school but this will obviously whether or not just your, your child starts school early will obviously depend on um, your child's development and whether or not you feel that they are ready did we pick the school so i actually wanted aj to go to montessori there's a specific montessori that i wanted him to go to but uh zam on the other hand felt that listen this school is right here stone throw away from home and all that is important for aj now is for him to go play Zam felt there's no need for him to go there now let's give him a year or two to just ease into um, being in school playing with other kids and then once we feel that he's ready and he's built his social skills and has a good foundation then he can go to a school that will teach him more and focus more on education with the school that he goes to now it's actually quite a good school we went to go view it it's the only school we actually went to go see we went to go see it I asked questions. I loved that. Um, what's this? I loved that the 
kids in AJ's age group, which is zero to two years, are in like a different section. So all the classes or all the age groups are basically separated so that the kids can develop properly and be with their age mates. So I loved um, the area in which AJ and them have school and I was happy with the activities that the teachers told me they get up to because they don't just go to school to play they actually have other stuff like painting or like on certain weeks they'll say they're focusing on shapes and colors and they'll do those things yeah the school generally looked nice and it felt like when we went to go view it it felt i could see aj being in that school and i was comfortable with um how they did things the culture that they have in place um and also i love that AJ's schedule basically is in sync with the school schedule so I didn't have to stress about the fact that his sleep routine or his eating routine would be messed up because the school literally has a routine and the times align with the same routine that we had gotten AJ into at home. Were you not scared of him starting school during COVID times? Not at all. I feel like kids um, are less susceptible to getting COVID. We've had COVID, like my husband and I have, have had COVID. Um, and even when we had COVID, AJ tested negative for COVID. So kids are actually less likely to get COVID um, than adults. And for all we know, we don't know how long COVID is going to last. And we can't now keep him at home because we're scared he's going to get sick. But do I pack for him for lunch? So I don't pack anything. I don't really pack anything for him, like in terms of food, because they get all the meals. I'll pack some water for him like a water bottle and I'll also squeeze um orange juice for him because obviously at school they give them they give the other kids oros or like um fruit juice so I don't like it when AJ drinks juice um but because obviously he's gonna see other kids drinking juice at school and he's gonna want it as well I just squeeze um fresh orange juice for him and then pack it in his bag for his teacher to give it to him when the other kids are having um, other types of juice. We'll obviously get dressed at home but I pack an extra um, summer outfit and I'll pack a like winter or cold day outfit so that if he gets his if he gets the clothes that he's wearing when he leaves home if he gets them dirty then they can just change him into a different outfit or if the weather changes they can also um, change him into the warmer outfit. Do you still have a nanny for weekends or holidays and do you also have a housekeeper? So from when AJ was born, we had a helper who basically cleans our home, does the laundry, like anything to do with the house. That was That's our helper's responsibility. Then we had a nanny who um, takes care of AJ, like primarily takes care of AJ. We started having conflict um, regarding something and we would let it go like something happened and we would forgive it and we it became a regular thing and because we could no longer resolve it, resolve it we let her go um, not so long ago so she's no longer with us and then we decided since AJ is in school there's no need to get like another nanny because we still have our helper and for the days where um, like weekends if we have other commitments um, if I have other commitments Zam will watch AJ and then vice versa and if Zam and I both need to go away then my mom will come stay over to help us with AJ or my sister-in-law will come stay with him what vitamin um, vitamins do you give AJ so I give him gummy vitamins and then there's also Zinplex Junior it's like a syrup um, so he takes these once a day and yeah, those are the vitamins he takes. Um, what do they eat at school? So there's a whole menu. We get sent a menu of what they eat um, and it, it, it varies on days. Like on Fridays, they'll have stuff like burgers and chips. And then on other days, it's like your chicken and your veggies. Um, basically what we would feed him um, at home. And then... At 10 o'clock, I mentioned earlier, they have um, sandwiches and they'll give them a fruit. I've answered most of the questions because most of them are like a repetition. That is it from me, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and that the 
first day of school q a gave some insights to a few mothers who are thinking of taking their kids to school anyways if you still have any more questions just ask me in the comment section below i've also just um linked some of uh the places where i bought some of the stuff for the room so if you want to check these places out just click on the links and you will find the stuff anyways thank you so much for watching till the end most of you wanted longer videos so i hope this was long enough um and don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you